back we are proceeding here for lecture number 5 this is quite interesting problem that's why we will solve this problem again in lecture number 10 using nodal analysis by super node concept 1 and super node concept 2 we will discuss it later on now here we are solving this problem of circuit theory by loop or mesh analysis using kirchhoff voltage law so we solve this question for the in the circuit first of all we make edges a b c d e f and define closed paths here this is a closed path for m1 a b d e f a here we assume current clockwise in mesh number 2 c b a c c b a c we assume current i2 in anti clockwise in mesh number 3 we uh, travel from b c d b and we consider current i3 and there is a loop a c d e f a and there is a five uh, there is a mash a c d b a and we solve this uh, question by these uh, assuming close path so after assuming this all currents now we will denote some conventions as we discussed earlier so there is a branch a and b in this branch current i1 is flowing in this way and here current i2 is flowing in this way so the net current flowing in this direction is this is i1 minus i2 so it is positive and this is this is negative and when we consider current in this direction it would be i2 minus i1 and this is positive and this is negative so we mark here positive negative and positive negative after that in branch bd similarly current flowing uh, through this direction i1 and current for m3 is this i3 so the net current flowing in this direction is i1 minus i3 and this is positive and this is negative and in this direction it would be i3 minus i1 and this is positive and this is negative similarly for ac there is only i2 current so it flow flowing from a to c and this is positive and this is negative similarly for cd current flowing from c to d and at the entering terminal it is positive and it is negative for i3 so in this way we mark polarity on each element here plus minus and here plus minus here this is positive this is negative and here negative and positive so we apply kvl for m1 start from e f a b d and then e it is start from here plus 20 volt minus 10 i1 minus i2 similarly minus 20 i1 minus i3 is equal to 0 so we after solving this this is divide by 2 2 minus 1 i1 minus i2 minus 2 i1 minus i3 is equal to 0 after solving it would be 3 i1 minus i2 Minus two i three is equal to two. This is equation number one. Now apply KVL for M two. 
it is start from c b a c so it would be last terminal of this battery plus 10 volt minus 10 uh minus of 10 i2 minus i1 minus 20 i2 is equal to 0 so in this way it would be divide by uh, 10 1 minus 1 i2 minus i1 minus 2 i2 is equal to 0 it would be uh, after solving i1 minus 3 i2 minus we introducing i3 term with a zero coefficient 0 into i3 is equal to minus 1 now apply b c d b uh, apply k v l b c d b start from b it last polarity of this terminal minus of 10 minus of 10 i3 minus 20 i3 minus i1 is equal to 0 divide by uh, this equation by 10 it would be minus 1 minus of i3 and minus of 2 i3 minus i1 is equal to 0 so after uh, solving it would be 2 i1 minus i2 Minus thrice of i three is equal to one. This is equation number three. We finally derive these three equation in term of i one, i two, and i three. Now, if we add these, uh, this uh, second and third equation, it would be thrice i one and it. Uh, would be so this is zero there is no no of no term of i2 so it would be thrice of i2 and it would be thrice of i3 is equal to zero so this is equation number 4 now we apply kvl for uh, ac dba ac dba intermediate mesh or a loop so start from a minus of 20 i2 and minus of 10 i3 and here minus of 20 i3 minus i1 and here minus of 10 i2 minus i1 is equal to 0 so when we solve this it would be uh, divide by 2 2 i1 minus i3 minus 2 i3 minus i1 minus of 1 i2 minus i1 is equal to 0 so after dividing this equation by 10 it would be this and after solving it uh, would be thrice of i1 minus thrice of i2 minus thrice of i3 is equal to 0 if we look this equation number 5 and 4 it would be same means if two equation of kvl of this mesh and this mesh is adding we get the whole equation of this mesh ac dba so in this way we uh, solve this question after getting these equation solve any three this this and this for i1 i2 i3 using calculator and we will get after calculating this value for i1 it would be 1.25 for i2 it would be 0.75 and for i3 
it would be 0.5 ampere uh, it is i1 uh, in this way from supply from this battery for i2 it is flowing from this side a to c and for i3 it flowing from c to d in this way so in this way we find we find out i1 i2 i3 of this uh, circuit so this is all about lecture number 5 we solve this question again using kirchhoff current law by using uh, concept of super node type 1 and type 2 in uh, lecture number 10 thank you so much bas yes.